We are going to be looking at how to calculate a z-score based on a certain set of statistics. Uh, we investigated in the previous lesson what z-scores are. They are the distance or the number of standard deviations away from the mean of a particular set of data. Uh, so it standardizes um, data. Um, if you'd like to calculate an actual z-score of a data value, here's a formula you could use, but I'll explain what that formula uh, means. So the z-score is equivalent to the data value, so x is the data value minus the mean for that particular set of data, and then divided by the standard deviation. So here's a couple of examples for you. So if we had, for example, a data value of 49, a mean of 35, and a standard deviation of 10, I would like to know the z-score for 49. So uh, to apply these two numbers, let's apply the mean of 35 to this particular uh, normal distribution. So a mean of 35 would have a middle of 35, and a standard deviation of 10 means that we would go up by 10s as we went up by one standard deviation, and vice versa, down by 10s. Okay, so if we had a data value of 49, which is roughly here, so here's a data value of 49, that looks like it is between 1 and 2, in fact it is, we know that it's between 1 and 2 standard deviations above the mean, so I'm going to guess that my z-score is approximately, I don't know, 1.4 or something like that. Okay, so this is just an estimate. Now to actually calculate the z-score of 49, what we would do is use the z-score formula. Uh, so the, the actual data value is 49. So if you follow the colors that I'm highlighting in, x is 49. The mean of the data is 35, so this would be 35, and the standard deviation of, is 10. So in this particular case, uh, the z-score would be equivalent to 49 minus 35 over 10. And calculate the numerator first. 49 minus 35 is 14 divided by 10. And 14 divided by 10 is actually 1.4. So I accurately estimated the z-score, but the z-score is exactly 1.4. So that data value 49 is 1.4 standard deviations above the mean for that particular set of data. If we look at the next one, the mean of the data is... 695, so I will put 695 in the middle just to kind of show you what this, what the application is. The standard deviation is just given a symbol in this case, is 52. So if I went up by 52s and down by 52s, it would look something like this, a little bit more complicated to calculate, but it would be 747, I believe, and 799. That's going up by 52s and down by 52s would be 643 and 591, et cetera, et cetera. So in this particular case, what we're asked to do is figure out the z-score for a data value of 673. So 673 is roughly a data value right there. Okay, so that would be a data value of 673. So that looks like it is less than one standard deviation below the mean. So it looks like it's about halfway uh, between the mean and the negative one standard deviation. So I'm going to estimate that the z-score here is approximately negative a half. So it's about a half of a standard deviation below the mean. That's my estimate. Uh, so here's the calculated value. The z-score is equivalent to the data value, 673, minus the mean, 695, over the standard deviation, 52. So the calculated numerator, do this on my calculator as well, uh, just to show you for those who are scared of doing some of this stuff in your head. Uh, <clears throat> there we go. So it's negative 22. The numerator is negative 22. And that's divided by 52. So if I divide that by 52, I will get, and we usually round these to the nearest hundredths because that's what the z-score table is useful towards. Uh, so it's negative 0 0.42. So this data value, 673, is... 0.42 standard deviations below the mean. If you're in my class, you may want to try this following question and answer it. Actually, there's two questions here, and get me to look at it.